Welcome back, this is Boss Kubo with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Luke and Coco. When we last left off, we had just gotten the party together after rescuing Coco, but we need to leave the town of Narsh. And we were told that we need to go south and try to find the kingdom of Figaro, which I now remember reminds me of... Leavers! <laughs> God. <laughs> It reminds me of a Looney Tunes character. Really, dude? Really, Luke? You can't steal from the fucking bunny sitting on a bed of lettuce. That sounds delicious, actually. Either way, you get 12 experience points, and, well, we get a tonic out of that anyway in 45 gil. Yeah. So, Figaro, it reminds me of, um, yeah, the, I want to say one of the Looney Tunes, but... I always, I always think of opera whenever I hear the terms figure out. But that is the castle we're headed for today. Nothing too tough here until you come across these guys. These guys can be a little bit tough. Uh, these are sand rays. They're trouble bites. Um, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious that's what they're going for. Is that going to be enough? It is not, but we can get an antidote out of them. Very nice. Hopefully that does not mean that they will poison me. I don't think it will. A second fire should more than do it the job here. I shouldn't have to try to conserve any of Coco's MP. We should be fine. 41 experience, 108 gil. Because we've already made it to the desert, and if you remember, the kingdom was supposed to be in the desert. In fact, there it is. Just a repeat fight there. I will be cutting those out from now on. But we have made it to Figaro Castle. Let's go ahead and go inside. What, wait? Oh, it's you. Proceed. Wait, what? They, like, no loot or something? They, they got chocobos. Damn. I like this place already. Middle of the desert. Chocobos everywhere. Apparently they know Luke for whatever reason. I don't understand that, but uh, we got important business to do. You guys have sand everywhere. Probably need to sweep that up. Uh, so we're just going to head straight for the king. And if you don't know how to get to the king, it's pretty much always straight. These castles are usually symmetrical with the king all the way at the back. I can just walk right up to him and nobody seems to care. Walk right past him if I wanted to. You mean, this young woman? Who do you think you are? Oh, sorry. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady! The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire and a master designer of machinery. His name is not Edgar. His name shall be Glenn. How you doing, Glenn? Giggity, giggity. I am Glenn, King of Figaro. Surprised someone like me knows a king. Yes, actually. Talk to you later. And then Luke kind of just runs off. So, you're an Imperial soldier. No problem, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. What? What's with you, anyway? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm. I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. No. N no, you're not, Coco. But we are in control of her now, so we cannot go through the curtains, unfortunately. you have anything to say? Yes, feel free to wander about, as if I was going to do anything else. I can't still can't go through those? You guys have the same thing to say? I want... Like, I am queen now! It doesn't work. I can't do it. Can I get the swords? No. Luckily, I did unequip Luke before he left my party. Freaking deserter, man. Let's go ahead and try to fully explore this castle while we still have the chance. We can head up here and get ourselves our first phoenix down. Like I went over before, if you have an ally that faints, pretty much their HP goes down to zero in battle, you can revive them with that. It won't give them full health, but it'll give them some. 
Uh, nothing up here. It's kind of strange with the towers, though. They've seemed to got fans on them, which is kind of strange. Can I not? Oh, there's nothing down there? It looks like there would be stairs leading down that, but no, there's nothing. So we'll head through this door here, and we'll find a guy with a church chest with a soft in it. And we also find the item shop. I don't really need anything here, but if you do uh, want to purchase some things, God, teachers are expensive. If you do want to purchase something, try to leave at least a little bit of money. I should actually purchase uh, two tents. That should be more than enough, I think, for now. Tents, of course, are sleeping bags, but for everybody, you can heal everybody's HP and MP to full. Softs do cure uh, stoning, you know, petrify. So, if you come across that, now you have a way to deal with it. What we need here, though, this is where you want to save all your money. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get one noise blaster. Use with the tools command. We don't have anybody that can use the tools command, but somehow talking to Edgar has slipped us an auto crossbow. I'm also going to be use purchasing the bio blaster. Gases multiple enemies. And what did the noise blaster say that it did? One's plenty. So I already, if I didn't read it, I already missed it. Let's head up here and we can get ourselves a tonic and an antidote. Very nice. And I think that's actually everything that we can get here. Um, skills. Oh, I have also moved Coco to the front row again. Um, Sword Tech Blitz Lore Rage Dance. They don't really show it. Um, there we go. Auto Crossbow. Strikes multiple enemies. Confuses multiple enemies. So the Noise Blaster just confuses them. And Bio Blaster pretty much deals Bio to them. And I don't, I think we've already got the best equipment. Yeah. She's got the best stuff already. I, I gave, well, I, I left the uh, Mithril Knife on Luke since we've already got one. So I think there's more or less anything we can do here. Doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some kind of the high-tech device, what? They're all, yes, of course, your high-tech devices are all top secret. And this place has opened up. You might remember these guys were standing in your way before. Yes, I understand about the alliance, I guess you could say. Doesn't quite make sense to me, but I will trust you at your word. I do need a rest. And then, when she actually ran? What the hell? Makes me think that I could run if I, like, knew what I was doing, but I'm pressing all the buttons, none of them dash. Though Glenn showers his attention on women, most uh, are too smart to pay any attention to him. Giggity, giggity. He recently tried to hit on the High Priestess. Yeah. Now, now, now Coco, wow. Uh, Coco doesn't feel special anymore. I didn't call her by her default name. What are you talking about? You have anything new to say? Most modern structure in the world. Is that what the fans are for? Modernity? Is there anything here? It looks like we've got like the, the castle library. Very important, the library. They're, study, they're doing research on magic, and that's stupid. Why is that stupid? Long ago, a force called magic existed. Put a fire up his ass. I'll teach him. People who use magic were called mage knights. So apparently Coco is a mage knight. That doesn't sound right to me at all. She sounds like a black mage because she doesn't have the, the offensive capabilities to really be a knight. But that's just me. And this leads down and out so I can talk to these guys. Yes, thank you. This is the desert castle. I know. The desert castle. Okay. We can now head up here into one of the outside areas. And we can head up top, talk to this guy. Apparently everything here is sent off and sold. That was not that fulfilling. Why do you even have this out here if it's not going to be worth my time? I didn't think we could actually go out and around the front gate in order to get here. I will test that, you know, when we leave, but I don't think you can, so. Back up here, 
back around. I forgot that these led outside. I thought they led some interior part of the castle. So I got a little confused about that one. So down here, and this goes straight down and outside, even though it doesn't look like it should. But it does. But it do. Do you... Are you guys all going to say the same thing? Damn it! You guys are on chocobos! You're supposed to be interesting! But you're not! You are not interesting. Let's head up here. And here we can find somebody that looks important! The Matron! Glenn has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. What? Who the hell is that? It's a youth, apparently. Brother! What's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become! What is it? Brother! You don't look princely at all, dude. T tears Real men don't true cry. Glenn's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. His name is not Sabin. As requested by... I'm gonna go with Oyo. His name is going to be Elvis. And that's the end that we see of Elvis, apparently. Yes, his name is Elvis. Oh, he looked so like his father. When he ran away, he was a sweet little child. wonder what he's like now. And uh, if I remember right, in the Japanese version, they do say that uh, Elvis is actually smaller or was smaller than Glenn. I'm not exactly sure if that's still true, but uh, when they were children, that's what uh, the Japanese version says. Now, because we have talked to uh, the matron, that's pretty much what we need to do in order to progress the story. I'm going to finish exploring the castle, though. Uh, we don't need to go... Well, did I talk to you? I don't think I talked to you. You have anything good to say? Ah, he does. The Empire apparently is destroying cities on the southern continent, and they're scared that they're going to come up here eventually. That is worrisome indeed. 